Hey guys, what is going on? Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change the Essentials X color codes. Okay, so whenever you open up Minecraft, right, and you join the game with Essentials inside of your plugins folder, you can see it's got that sort of intro text, uh, The uh, it calls it the MOTD. Um, whenever you join, it says, hey, and then your gamer tag, and welcome to the game. And that's all in this kind of orange golden color. And if you're like me, and you want your server colors to all match, uh, in this case for Osborne Network, we want them to be uh, pink, purple, and blue. Um, we want Essentials to match that, right? So go ahead and open up the Essentials uh, files here. So in this case, I've gone ahead and downloaded a brand new Essentials download here. And what we are worried about, or what we are focusing on, is the main Essentials X right here, okay? Don't worry about the chat one or anything, we don't need any of that. We are just going to worry about the regular Essentials X, okay? So let's just go ahead and make sure you have WinRAR installed. Uh, right click on Essentials X and click open with WinRAR. Okay, now inside of here, you guys can see we have these YML files. Um, what you want to do is go ahead and actually copy that file here. It can be any YML file inside of here. And you just want to go ahead and paste it on your desktop. Right click on that and click uh, open with here. And then more apps. Make sure this little always use is checked here and select uh, your preferred app. So in this case, um, we have Visual Studio Code installed, but you can use anything you want. Um, the thing I recommend you to use, and this is actually what I'm going to use for this tutorial, is Notepad++. Okay, you can download it in the link below, uh, which will be right there uh, in the description. Um, Notepad++ is a really great, uh, easy to use piece of software, and it's updated all the time, which is great. I know the website looks a little sketchy, I'm not going to lie, but it's completely fine. You just um, click the little download button there and it'll download for you so yeah I wouldn't worry about it I've never gotten a virus from uh, notepad plus plus sorry I know um, your screen went black there um, but yeah it's really simple just go ahead and install it just like that it's super fast easy install um, go ahead and close out of that now and all we need to do is go ahead and right click on this and you guys can see open with and then you want to go ahead and find notepad plus plus if that's not in here all we need to do is simply uh, open up Notepad++ in our computer, okay? Right here, you want to go ahead and right-click on that and find Open File Location, okay? Sorry, I have three screens here. Uh, windows open all over the place. Um, go ahead and find Notepad++. In this case, it's right here. Go ahead and copy this uh, directory here, minimize that, and right-click on the plugin.yml, uh, select Open With, and then uh, look for another app on this PC, okay? Um, go ahead and paste in the directory that you copied earlier and select notepad plus plus in this case it's right here okay now that will open up in notepad plus plus and if you go ahead and uh, reopen this here you should be able to use notepad plus plus for these you guys can see uh, we have notepad plus plus okay so now we need to go ahead and do the same exact thing for the properties files okay so unfortunately you cannot right click with these and do anything with them which is kind of stupid um, I'm sure there's an option somewhere in here for open with, but uh, I don't really know why. There's I don't see one. So go ahead and copy the uh, .properties file here and paste it on your desktop. I know this is a super in-depth process here, uh, but you only have to do it once, which is really great. Okay, so go ahead and paste in that directory again. Same thing we did earlier. And now go ahead and let's try that one more time. Go ahead and double click on it, and you will now have your directory is all set up okay so go ahead and uh, open it up for the third time here uh, open with uh, when we're here and you guys can see these are all notepad plus plus which is great so let's just go ahead and find your language here so in this case I'm speaking English I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not quite sure on that um, you want to go ahead and find your corresponding language in here so in this case EN you just go ahead and double click on that and you want to go ahead and find the color code that you want to change so in this case uh, it's going to really help to have your color codes open. These are actually the MOTD color codes, Minecraft here. I'll link to the uh, website that I use in the description below if you would like to look at these. So in this case, we have these ones right here. Okay. So let's just go ahead and uh, find the color that we want to change. In this case, it's that gold. So go ahead and copy that color code here. I'm going to put this on the side here of my monitor. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and come in here, do search, and there should be a little replace option here. You want to go ahead and paste in that, and what do we want to change that with? We want to change that to uh, dark purple, which is our 
uh, Osborne Network colors, okay? So go ahead and copy that there, paste it in, and replace all. You guys can see that changed 500 and something. I didn't quite see that. So there you go. That changed all those. Go ahead and save it as is. Go ahead and close out these other ones here from earlier. Um, and you just want to go ahead and keep on doing this. So maybe there's another color like dark red. Uh, I'm going to change that to a light red. Okay. Let's go ahead and search here. And you want to click on replace. Change that to, let's say, light red here. So uh, one thing you can actually do right here is just change the 5 to whatever you want. So in this case, C. And you guys can see that, re that replaced 230, okay? Which is a lot. Um, so that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and see here we have uh, green. Green is not part of our color scheme. Red isn't really either, but it goes good with the colors. Let's go ahead and replace green with, uh, let's do white. Okay, so in this case, that'll be uh, slash U00A7F. Okay, go ahead and replace all. That replaced it. Uh, 38 of our things there. So yeah, we've basically done all of them. Uh, you guys can see there's dark aqua We can just change that to regular blue. I think that'll look fine So really really easy here. You can just do uh, Let's see It's looking for regular blue. Okay indigo is what it calls it. So Let's do that and replace all that replaced one. Okay, sweet, right? So really really simple um that's all you have to do now your color codes are going to be changed go ahead and save that and close out and click yes okay you do want to update that in the archive don't click no or else you have to redo all that crap okay <laughs> so yeah that's really it that's all you have to do it's that simple um you don't have to delete any files or anything you just have to replace your, your little thing here unless that was already in your plugins folder all right, so now I'm just going to go ahead and log into my server here. Uh, I will have a video coming out soon on Pterodactyl, which is what we use to manage all of our servers. It's a really, really great server sort of add-on you can have, but it's a pain to install. So if you're advanced, great. But if you're not, then uh, that's just too bad. Okay, so let's just go ahead and put this in here. Chances are we're going to have a problem because we already have it in here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and log into the factions. Ah, I can't. Ooh, what? I cannot type today. That is a custom command. I'll have a video coming out soon on that. Anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and wait for that to go ahead and load up. And let me notify. Go ahead and let him know that I'm gonna stop the server. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the server here so that we can do this. So just type in stop slash stop. Sorry. Uh, if you're typing that directly into the console, you don't have to do a slash. Okay, yeah, there's the uh, mean. I'm joking. Okay, let's go ahead and do this here so you can see we have our files here. Uh, go ahead and find your current essentials. Uh, let me just do this because I'm lazy. Essentials, we need to go ahead and delete the jar file. All right, so in this case, we have our essentials X. Uh, this is what we need to go ahead and actually get rid of. That's the one that I uploaded into here, but we want to go ahead and get rid of this one. Okay, delete. Okay, and that is done. All right, so now we have hopefully updated our essentials. Let's just go ahead and start up the server now. Okay, looks like it has already started. Sweet, okay. Let's go ahead and join the server. All right, guys, so now we have gone ahead and put in the essentials file into our plugins folder. So let's just go ahead and join the factions server here. Uh, I do have a custom command set up, and I'll have a tutorial coming out in custom commands very, very shortly. Uh, and I'm very excited for that. I think it'll be really nice. All right, so we are now logged into the uh, factions server here. And as you all can see, it says, Welcome to Factions. And we have the new color codes here. If I do slash gmc you guys can see it changed the color codes so that's really really cool and i think i'm probably gonna have to go back in here and change this here to uh bold uh, as well as uh, gray so yeah it there is still some you're gonna have to do some tweaking and kind of mess around with it but it's really really great and i'm a huge fan of how kind of easy this is <laughs> it's it's not a super easy thing to do but if you are a dedicated server owner i think you're going to want to do this because it's going to make your server look that much better it's it's the small details that really count so yeah that's going to do it for this video thank you all so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you all in the next video